Hey guys, how's it going? Anthony Mutraja here, back with a new video lesson for y'all. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you a couple of things um, which I find, found very useful to create bass fills in a very um, R&B gospel kind of situation. Um, heavily inspired by Sheree Reed. Now, I'm pretty sure every bass player out there has watched that video of Sheree playing um, Joy to the World in a church service. Um, it's one of the best displays of bass playing of all time, in my opinion. He's one of my favorite bass players. Um, phenomenal groove, great sound, and his choice of notes and when he chooses to play these fills are amazing. And for those of you who don't know, Sheree is also an exceptional upright player who plays very nice bebop and a lot of jazz vocabulary as well. So the gospel roots are definitely there, but there's also a bit of the influence of the jazz school, which I want to talk about in relevance to what um, the lesson's about. Okay, so I've come up with a little fill, kind of taking influences based on all the fills in that video. Okay, now in that video, there's a couple of fills he does which are really nice. And there's another one which is like over the bar. Something like that. Okay. Um, I'm not going to break those down. You can check out the video. I think there are a couple of breakdowns on it or covers anyway. You can check it out note for note. I want to show you how you can come up with your own ideas. Okay. So one of the things I hear a lot in that video and in general in that idiom of music is um, the minor pentatonic with the nine. Basically... It's a minor pentatonic with an additional note, the nine. If it's if I'm in B minor, the nine is C sharp. Okay, so essentially, what happens is that that C sharp gives you access to another pentatonic scale, which is the F sharp minor. So. It's up to you whether you choose to think F sharp minor pentatonic and B minor pentatonic. I like to think of the B minor pentatonic with an additional note so I can still retain the tonality. Right? I can still retain the tonality of the B minor. By throwing in that extra note, it doesn't hurt me in any way. Okay, so the fill really slow goes like this. Okay, it's a B minor to an E minor. Okay, so it's using the six note pentatonic scale. This is a very commonly use shape one two flat three seven da, 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 to the five but the five we don't play directly da, 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 da. there's no effect there's no spice there slide or hammer on from the e da, 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 da. so e to the f sharp da, and then i go down to the e by sliding down to into the e so it gives it a nice break instead of going instead of going continuously just running in 16th notes or whatever it is it gives it a nice space and then I get into the 16th note so A, D, B, F sharp so A, D, B, F sharp, E, A, F sharp, D. 
and then resolve to this low E. Okay, this is a little tricky because I need to I need to roll down to that A. Really, really, really slow. Okay, another thing I want to tell you is how you don't alternate pick everything in these kind of situations. It doesn't sound right when you do that. You don't pick everything, you do. So, I'm picking B and C sharp and then the B, D I'm hammering on. Pick the A, the hammer on to the F sharp. I pick and then the slide to the E and then I pull off into the D. So it gives it a nice, da -da 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 -da, nice vocal effect. You can hear it there. Right, so that hammer on, slide and pull off and the economy picking of things really helps get you that sound. So here's a fill again, a little slow, a little faster, faster, so, Okay, so six notes, minor pentatonic with that nine. Okay, now if you want to further push more ideas, what you can start to use are what I call quarter lines, which are fourths, right? And it works perfectly with this technique of economy picking because you can go you can do whatever. Okay, so why fourth? Because fourth has this space which doesn't specify a specific harmonic motion or even melodic motion for that matter. It's a little ambiguous, but then when you resolve it, it sounds beautiful. So try something like this. If I have a B minor, I hammer on to the F sharp from E. Or something like that. Or if I have to. Right? So, for what it's worth, I like to spend my time finding these kind of quartal motions. And then what you'll also notice is that these inverted triads help a lot. Like if I have um, D major with the F sharp on the bottom or G major, B, D, G. And then try different resolutions. I like this. Very nice. Or yeah. Right? 
So very similar stuff he's playing in that video where he does. Right? And the choice of resolution. Instead of going. Right? So he's still like going back and forth with it. That's why it's resolving over the bar line. But it's done with such a specific motion and control and intention that um, I figured I'll just give you certain tools and certain elements you can work on. So again, pentatonic scale, add the nine. And this is the phrase that I showed you guys earlier. And if I were to try to make variations on that. I like that. Then I went into the triplets. But the triplets start to make it sound a little fusion-y. Anyway, it all depends on what you are going for. Cool. I hope you get something out of this. And uh, until the next one, I'll see you guys in the shed. Peace.